Hello YouTube world, this is Terry with Lions Mobile Welding. Just wanted to put a proof of concept video out on the internet. Um, basically, I own my own small business. I invested a lot in an uh, engine drive and a suitcase feeder. Um, to be specific, the Ranger 10,000 and the uh, Miller Extreme V8S. That worked great for me for a while. But lately I've been getting a lot of people that want uh, aluminum welded. So I did a lot of research. I spent six months scouring YouTube, calling Miller, Lincoln, technical support, engineers. They all said with my existing equipment it can't be done. Well I'm here to tell you it can be done and I did it. With uh, very little uh, just a little bit of technical wiring on the Extreme V8, uh, VS, sorry. Um, I'll actually show you. Here we go. I have the There's my Ranger 10,000. Simple using the Sorry guys. This is my ground clamp. This is going to my Miller okay this is this minor wiring that had to be done just getting into this switch now I also bought a simple inexpensive Badger SM100 spool gun for the Miller less than $100 on eBay. Now this is just a proof of concept. As soon as I fire up the engine drive, obviously you're not gonna be able to hear me. So what I'm gonna do is if I get enough interest, I'll show you how to wire the Extreme VS. Pretty simple, you gotta get into the drive motor wire, splice into that, get your couple wires, get into the, sorry, get into the, the four pin adapter that comes with the spool gun. Um, ports one and two are your trigger. That will turn the drive motor inside the Extreme V8 VS. All right. Now what you need to do is pin three and four on the Extreme VS are empty. The four pin adapter on the spool gun, those are your 12 volts to turn your spool gun. So. If you just hooked it up and turned it on like I did the first time, pull the trigger, the drive roll inside the Extreme VS will actually turn, but your drive roll on your spool gun, the drive rolls inside will not turn because they aren't getting any voltage. With that simple wiring I showed you down there, it can be done. You just transfer the drive rolls and the VS will still turn, but you'll also turn the drive rolls on the gun. All right, from here I'm going to fire it up, put my helmet on, glove on, and I'll show you it will weld.
video this is the first YouTube video I just wanted to put it on here just to let the world know it can be done inexpensive MIG welding with your existing equipment and a hundred dollar spool gun thanks for watching if you like leave comments if you want me to show you how to wire it exactly I can do that or if you want to pay me ship it to me and I could do it for you